Welcome back to UK Knowledge Guru. In this video, I will guide you how to pay your employee using free agent first time. When you will log on your system, you will be able to see overview, contacts, works, bills, my money, banking, taxes, accounting. So at the bottom, it will say top tips. Every time it will show you the tips. Uh, you can close that. Um, over here, this is your dashboard where you can see your sales, your revenue, your outgoings because it's connected to your bank. So go to your my money and then pay run. In pay run, payroll, you will have this option. It says, sorry, uh, submission was not done yet. So because I have tried to show you that how and what it works. So authentication failed and please ensure that your submission has been accepted by HMRC by 5th September. So this is still. So we are trying to do it first time, but it's not letting me do it. Now I'll show you as well. So these are my details. Like I've provided the details over here, uh, employee name, and then all the details of the employee notification, monthly pay 1047 taxes etc so when i'll click on that create it will tell me we cannot submit your parent to hmrc there is an authentication fail so when you will have this authentication fail how to resolve this first i'll show you the like why is it happening enter the date of the parent um, review and edit payslip so this is the first time i'm doing it and it's not letting me do it if an employee is being paid for the first time please calculate the payslip so pay run employee details pension all these details are coming employment allowance 39.95 uh, which is currently for 2024 2025 when i'll click on that run and report month five payroll um, to report your payroll you need to check guidance uh, what you will be reporting to HMRC about your payroll, how much you are paying to your employees, details of deduction like income tax, and I uh, employee starting and leaving date. All these details will. So this is this system is connected to your HMRC. So when I'll click run and report payroll, it will give me. So it will say that RTI submission. It's your payroll is being submitted. Then it will give me the error like this. Your sorry, we rejected your RTI submission. Now why it's doing that? So let me show you that. So when we are trying to pay what's happening because the online account is not created, that's why the HMRC is giving error. So for that, we will go on our business tax account first. And on this page, you will be able to see add a tax to your account to get online access to a tax duty or scheme on that. If you click on it, it will take you to the page. What tax do you want to add to your account? So you have the options employers or immediatries, for example, pay for employers or CIS. Second one is self-assessment for individual sole trader partners. Third one, VAT or other taxes or scheme. So we wanted to add in our online account employers or immediately for payee. So for example, we want to add to that so we can pay to our employees. We click on that, click continue. After that, it will take you to the page, which employer tax or scheme do you want to need? Construction industry scheme, employment immediatries, employment related securities, pay for employers. So we'll click on pay for employers. Continue. Do you have an employer pay reference number? Yes, we have that. If you have not watched this video, watch this video. In this video, I have guide you how to apply payee number online. Okay. Click yes. Continue. Now it says request access to payee for employers. You have the option employers payee reference number, accounts office reference or HMRC office number. So I'll put the details in and I'll request access. As soon as I'll click that, it will take me to the page. You have requested access to payee for employers. You will receive an activation code in the post within seven days. You need to use this activation code to get access to your tax or scheme. So this is how it gets done. You click continue on it and it will take you to back to that page where you landed before. So if you see this once you will request for that second time, you will get the code and third time you will put that code online. So that's how you do it. On this page, you have the other options, pay for employers. So pay employee reference number. So we will click on this side, activate your pay for employers. So we have requested the code now. Now we will wait. And once we get the code, we will put over here, activate your pay for employers. Without this, you cannot access online account. So your accountant will also need this. So 10 days to seven to 10 days to get the payee reference number. And then after that, seven days, you have to wait for this. It also says if you do not activate your tax before 9th of December 2024, you will have to apply again. So the code is limited. 
after you have activated your pay for employers it can take up to 72 hours to show your details next option you have employment related securities on this page and you have all this option so this is how you do the activate your pay employers number so i have applied the corporation tax and this is how i have received the letter it's in a brown envelope so i have opened this envelope and this is the letter inside now to activate that i will go on gov.uk website where i will go on my hmrc sign in account i will click on that and i'll go to the page where it shows the sign in id and password once i've done that i'll see this account business tax account view and access your business tax in one place so you have the option over here corporation tax your corporation tax reference number is this use this code to activate your corporation tax so i have received the letter and there's a corporation tax code in it which i'll use that so i'll click on activate your corporation tax now this is like a 12 character code you get this in your post like i said and you put that like you don't give this code to anyone keep it to yourself because all these hmrc letters they are very important if you give it to other people it will be a problem click on get access once you put the corporation tax in you can see you have now access to the corporation tax your unique corporation tax number utr which we also call that you can also note down this number because sometime you forget these things so i'll recommend it's better to put that everything in your phone in one place your corporation tax your hmrc gateway click on continue and you will come to the page where it will tell you what next you need to do so you your returns and your payments so you have like you know you have option where you can view your corporation tax statement if you click on it it will show you like this your balance at the moment the amount is zero there is no outstanding period so sometime you have you it will show up over here that's how you will come to know the outstanding period so now i have done everything now obviously in like you know i have received this um like you know they didn't accept me like my account previously so now i'm trying to do that again i'll run this and report month five pay run again now i have updated online on my hmrc website when i'll click on it it will give me this option run and report payroll so it it's my government id and everything RTI submission now it's your payroll has been submitted to HMRC we are waiting to confirm your RTI submission so this is the date and this is now trying so you can see that it's loading so let's wait it should submit my payroll now so let's wait there you go uh, you have until 5th of 2024 to prepare your next so you're filled with HMRC so this one is already submitted uh, your RTI report has been successfully filled with HMRC now month 5 payroll is already done okay month 5 is already done now I will run month 6 so uh, if you see on top you have the option for that R prepare month 6 payroll so you can do that if I click on it it will say prepare now it will ask me to run the report for the next month so this will be my second month of the employment which I can run um, so you again select reasonable excuse because it's a late submission run and report month five month six payroll and that's it so hope this you like this video this videos will like you know they are all uh, part of my HMRC accounting where I wanted to guide you that you can do all these things yourself so if you have any question feel free to contact me you can also email me at dr underscore consultant.com